Sunny Tuesday, I am Rihanna Wet, and I have with me the beautiful Nadine Hainsley. <laughs> so Nadine's going to share her journey with us and what it's been like traveling to different countries and the different experiences that she has had. So tell us a bit about the different countries that you have um, been to. Um, so it's the main one I've been to. I went to Kenya, um, I did um, a voluntary placement out there for three months nice. um, and then I was also an au pair in Paris for the summer. So what was it like in Kenya for three months? I don't know, three months. Yeah, yeah. It was hard. Um, it all kind of started when I didn't get into university and I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is the worst thing. Like yeah. I always wanted to be a midwife. Yeah. And you know, when I got the all five objections, I was like, but then I saw it as an opportunity yeah. to, uh, to just like do something that I've always wanted to do as well. So yeah. I just, you know, challenged myself, went to an interview, and I actually got this post. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, we walked. Yeah, we walked. Yeah, I'll be back. Yeah. 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 I've got there and I worked in a hospital with, um, for the time with people with HIV and TB. Um, but one of the main challenges was sort of like the culture, because the culture yeah. difference, um, like language barrier as well, um, just being so far away from home um, mm -hmm. for three months. Yeah. I lived with a family who um, they were Muslim, Christian, yeah. um, so that had, had its like, challenges. But also it was good because, you know, I got to see like a different different perspective or yeah. to live, live alongside yeah. or I just saw that they're just their people and yeah, like got to kind of share the love of Christ in that way. So. so did it affect like your relationship with God while you were out there and being away from everything that you were used to, the church that you were used to and stuff like that? Um yeah I would say it was definitely a um, a kind of growing point for me because that was where or when I realised that like church wasn't just a thing of like I go to church because my parents go yeah. like it was actually something that you know there was a, there was a hunger inside of me mm -hmm. in those three months and I didn't always go to church and it's about the language barrier and, um, and yeah I learned about myself learned about the fact that yeah it's it's about that hunger that you have for God and that making time for God yourself and to just so how did you find the charity that you went to charity? Yeah. Right? So how did you find them like, the people that wanted to and things like that? Yeah, so um I Googled really um volunteering abroad and I came across um, International Citizen Service, ICF. And uh, they kind of, it's kind of, it was kind of geared to 18 to 25 year olds. Um, it was a government funded scheme, and nice. they still do it now. So please, if you are within 18 to 25, yeah, go and you've got three months, just go, yeah. just do it. Like, it, it is amazing. Um, wow. I went to a charity called the Voluntary Service Overseas, um, and, and yeah, and that was really like such a beautiful moment. Mm -hmm. So, what was Paris like for you? Did you find a church in Paris? Was it easy to like, make friends out there? Compared um, to like Kenya, I guess. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I found, I was kind of surprised by it, but I found France like a lot harder than Kenya. I was surprised, I suppose, because Kenya, because uh, France is a lot closer than, yeah. than Kenya. I thought, ah, oh, like, you know, it's just the Eurostar, like two and a half hours on the train. No, it was completely different. Um, I think also because I was like completely alone, I was just, yeah. I found this family um, on the website. Uh, and I, but it was it was specifically for au pairs. Um, but they didn't speak any English at all. And I kind of went over there and went, yeah, I can speak French, like you know. And then obviously I got there and just didn't know the basics, right? So I had to learn by fire. Yeah. So I felt much more isolated. Um, that was a really pivotal moment in my life, um, just because I kind of I got there, I was very alone, like. I didn't have any friends, didn't yeah. have a church just yet. Um, I ended a relationship that I was in. Um, my phone got stolen, I got fined. Like, it was just everything was yeah. just very deep. Wow. Um, but that was really where um, I kind of found God for myself. And like, yeah, I just realised that He was He was my source. Um, and sort of when you're in a situation where people don't always necessarily see your value. Yeah. Um, and you know, you don't really speak the language to see you as like you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, you kind of yeah, really have to like 
God for himself. Like, yeah. for him so tell us a bit about the church that um, you went to out there, the different people that you met and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I basically just Googled churches in the area that kind of spoke English because I was like, my goal was to learn French, yeah. um, which is kind of in the end, but, um, but I did obviously want that mix. Um, and so I found your song Paris um, and that was, yeah, yeah, it was such a blessing um, at the time and I made some great friendships, like lifelong friendships nice. there. Um, which, yeah, which was such a blessing and really I just sort of found as well that it's not necessarily about the church you go to or the name of the church, yeah. but really about, um, yeah, kind of the, the everyday um, study that you do, the yeah. relationship with God, developing that and then if you go to church, it's just that much of a, you can just be such a blessing to the yeah. people there and take so much from it as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So is there like an encouraging word that you think about travelling to maybe um, yeah, well just with anything really, I would say just challenge yourself, literally just, you know, um, just go for it and don't be afraid to, to dream big, dream yeah. big for God. Yeah. Um, I think it's amazing when we all have like dreams and stuff that we can't achieve in our own strength because that causes us to lean on God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you know that scripture, Ephesians 3, 20. Um, where it talks about God doing abundantly more and all the good and all the things. So, um, and I really, yeah, God's been so faithful in that in my life, and you know, I would just say, just, just. Really good. Mm. Well, thanks for coming here and sharing your journey with me. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Where can we find you, Naz? Um, on Instagram um, at Nazi Naz. I think it's double Z. <laughs> 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 okay. okay, so it's um, Nazi Naz, N A double Z I Naz. Cool, cool, Yeah. Cool. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. I hope that this video really encouraged you and um, gave you that extra push to go out and do um, great things for God. And because it allows you usually wherever you go. Um, so yeah, test me Tuesday, we'll be back next week Tuesday. Um, turn on those post notifications so you know when the next video is out. See y'all later. Bye, deuces. <laughs>